So this is it. Um, the case is 3D printed, but it came out very nicely. Um, the bottom has these holes to yeah, spare some filament. And I added the, the rubber fit. And uh, yeah, the layout is, is really, really nice. I'm, I am typing on this since a couple of weeks. It took me about, uh, I don't know, three, four days to get used to the position of the arrow cluster that is uh, more recessed. Um, and also the position of the right shift that it is not in a usual position or at least it is not where I'm used to, uh, to have it. I designed this keyboard with the assumption that I was using just the uh, right um, spacebar as a spacebar and uh, my plan was to using a modifier on the left spacebar but yeah I realized that I actually use uh, both sides of the of the spacebar and um, uh, especially when uh, I'm doing, uh, I don't know, CAD work or graphics where I'm using both the, the, the keyboard on the, on the left and the mouse on the right. And I, of, I often need the, uh, the left uh, space. But so what I did is to uh, set this, um, the left space bar both as modifier and space bar. Uh, based on how long I keep it pressed. Um, the problem is that uh, if you are typing very fast, uh, the, the firmware is not able to understand if you want to, uh, if, if you want to use the, 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 key, the, the, the key as uh, a modifier or a space bar. But I use the keyboard uh, in a very specific uh, scenario. That is, um, I am a, a Linux uh, user and I use a tiling um, window manager that is uh, i3. So I'm using a lot uh, the keyboard to navigate through the windows and so on. Um, I believe that in and in, in a standard usage, the, this layout is already uh, very, very good. And uh, I'm really pleased with it. I put a clicky switches on this. So the, the sound test uh, will be noisy, but let's see how it goes. So yeah, you need to like uh, clicky switches, but uh, apart from, from that, uh, it is not that they sound uh, worse than on a standard um, aluminum keyboard. And I will put the 3D files uh, on my blog and probably Thingiverse uh, if you want to if you want to print this. Uh, of course, it is a lot of work to hand wire this thing, but yeah, I, I think it is worth it. I am also releasing the, the 3D files of the space bars. So you can, maybe if you have a resin printer, you can also print this. And um, yeah, that's it. Hope you like it, bye.